customers first. Quality and innovation. Respect for employees. Bullshit. That's all. And bullshit. My dear guests, I am Mr. Raw, your host. Welcome to Fantasy Island. Yes. Would you like fries with that? Would you like fries with that? Hey there, everybody. PT Pop here with all four lobes my brain securely bound behind my back and today i'm going to show you a 12 year old verizon wireless recruitment video for one of their call centers and i bring this up because i was one of the unfortunate slaves to work in a verizon wireless call center in chandler arizona and i can tell you as i have said in the past it was the worst job i've ever had in my entire life it was abysmal horrible terrible despicable place to work terrible supervisors awful trainers terrible metrics just a disgusting place to work and the reason why i bring up verizon so much is because i wanted to work at verizon i had applied at verizon from the moment i moved to arizona in 2002 until I got hired there until like 2000. I did get hired there in 2008. I think I was there from eight to 10 or from, yeah, I was there from eight to the end of 2000. I was there for almost two years and it was an awful place to work. It's where the zippity bebop, you know, the guy, the, the black African American United States Marine put me on a pip. And that she's most a lady who was having an affair with some late guy across the, across the call center. Awful place to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first, I'm just going to show this video here. Let's bring up the video. And this is almost exactly what my call center looked like in Chandler, Arizona. And this is, this is actually the New Mexico Verizon Wireless Call Center. And it is now closed. They closed this call center a long time ago. But before I get to the, before I get to the, Video. Let me look at some of the remarks on here from former employees. Um, this guy says, I worked in the office, in this office or, or the New Mexico office for six years. I was so elated when they announced it was closing. What a terrible place. This just banks up what I said. Verizon is a horrible company to work for. Uh, this person says, I got news for you. It's a shitty environment to work in. When you're crammed in a room with a bunch of other people with no space or privacy or sound barriers, and there is no face-to-face -face interaction, so why not make everyday casual day? Why make people dress up for a shit job like this? And I would bet a year's salary that they don't allow personal items at your desk and probably even and probably even hot desk, I don't know what that means, which is dehumanizing a shitty practice. And no, I've never worked for this company specifically, but I know the call center industry. Amen to you. What is your name? I can't read it. Lil Sheba One. And this third person says, terrible place to work. Now, again, this video is six years old, or I'm sorry, it's 12 years old, and this call center is gone. But it's the same crappy production of all these call center videos. It's upbeat music. This is terribly edited. It's it's filmed in 720p. So this is before everybody had 1080 and 4K stuff. So start off with this and notice how everybody's talking about having fun. It's a great work environment, things like that. Now, this is different. That's a minor key. Now, I, I think this is really bizarre. You're trying to, it's an upbeat tempo, but it's a minor key. So whoever produced this knows nothing about music or production. And it's a very, minor keys are very sad, which is appropriate for call centers because it's a, it's a, it's a, you know, a sad place to work. It's a very depressing place to work. So uh, I, who picked this song with a minor key in it? They're playing something like you'd hear in Working Class Hero. I think it's A minor. Working. <laughs> I can't, I can't drop my cable. It's, uh, they're, they're playing, um. Soon as you're born, they make you feel small. By 
I've given you no time instead at all. So here we go. Hey, listen to music. Verizon Wireless is the nation's most reliable wireless voice and data network. We have over 63.7 million. That is just what our call center looked like. Uh, and it's brightly lit. So it's not, it's not depressing. It was very brightly lit. And our cubicles were tiny. And you had these little whiteboards that you could write notes on and stuff like that. And you had one vertical screen and one horizontal screen. And we, you had a duplicate screen. Customers and the Albuquerque Call Center provides customer service and technical support for any Michelle Gonzalez, human resources recruiter. She's so chismosa. Bound calls and coming calls from our customers in the 12 Western states. I am Verizon Wireless. When I, am I am Verizon Wireless, he says. This is the spokesperson. I don't think this guy is a call center rep. He, he's too well spoken and he knows exactly what to say. It's well scripted. I think this guy is, is a plant. He's a ringer. I think he's the cameraman or something they put on camera. Answer a phone call from a customer. I'm representing the company. We've got over 60 million different customers and we provide a lot of different products and services. So I need to be Scott Warmoth, long haired, intelligent professor, college professor type. I'm going to explain to you what it is to be a customer service representative, Mr. Mister. The person who can make a recommendation, can explain the bill, can uh, tell them how to fix a device and do some troubleshooting. So I wear a lot of different hats and talk to a lot of different kinds of people. Now, when I was with Verizon, I had cell phone experience. But I, my cell phone experience came in the mid-90s when the cell phone business was just exploding. And there were only like two models of cell phones. There was a Motorola Motorola flip phone, there was a bag phone, and then there was just a car phone that it was permanently wired into your car. When I got into Verizon in 2008, 2009, there were like a hundred different models of phones from like 20 different manufacturers. It was crazy. And there was no way I could figure out how to tell people how to operate their phone if I'd never operated that phone. And they had these little online tutorials you could type in your computer, you know, Motorola's but La Banga phone, and it, it would show you how to operate the phone. But you couldn't do it in seven minutes even if you'd never heard of that model of phone. From day one, if you say, you know what, this is something that I'm going to look into a long term goal. That's what Verizon Wireless is. You can come here and build a great career, a great foundation and have fun at work. I'm very delighted. I'm very happy to be here. Now, this guy, Juan Sosa, bilingual customer service rep for Verizon Wireless, he doesn't sound very excited, even though he says he loves working here. Because, you know, this company, you know, has been very accommodating for me. And I really like that because you don't find that in too many companies nowadays. Now, I, I can't tell, is this guy blind? And you'll see later on in the video, I think it's insinuated he's handicapped in some way. But if he's blind, how could he possibly run a computer? I, I don't understand. Even if he had a Braille keyboard, you what would how would you know what you're looking at? Um, he's bilingual. He must speak Spanish, which was huge out Southwest. If you came in at 12 bucks an hour and you're bilingual and you could speak Spanish, they'd pay you 15 to $18 an hour. But I don't know. Can you tell if he's blind or not? We have a performance Customers first, quality and innovation, respect for employees. Bullshit, that's all. And bullshit. My dear guests, I am Mr. Raw, your host. Welcome to Fantasy Island. Yes. <laughs> Urban culture here. So the ideal candidate for this position is somebody that is. The ideal candidate for this position is someone who's insane. Ah, he wasn't working on phones all day. They have people call me a cocksucker. I'll oh, play hire me now. Okay, they hire that guy over there. That's the ideal candidate. Somebody's got a needle in their arm and they say, 
performance driven, that has excellent polished customer service skills, and that's not afraid to change. You know what it takes to be very successful here at Verizon Wireless is for our employees to be very motivated and driven and very enthusiastic. At this job, a good attitude is everything because in the first couple of seconds of talking to a customer, if you can let them know I'm engaged with you, I'm here to help you, I want to work with you, that's a really important thing to come to this job with. Knowledge, optimism. Yes, that's all you need. A good attitude at Verizon and you'll be treated like a king or a queen. Is that our employees are our greatest asset. So we try to provide a excellent work. And yeah, I think this guy's blind. And I, unless he's very shy, I, they wouldn't let you wear sunglasses on the floor. I don't think they would let you. How, somebody explained to me how a blind person could work a computer in a call center. Maybe they have audio prompts. I, I, don't, I don't know. Environment for them where we encourage individual achievement. We provide vision to be the leading provider of wireless communications and information services and the recognized market leader. Yes. With our eyes and wireless core values. Customers come first. <laughs> ongoing training to enhance their skills and make it fun. Um, do you have a it's going to be fun. Oh, it's always fun everywhere in these call centers. Isn't it fun just in corporate America in general? Yes. That's why they all go to the bar afterward and get tanked like we all used to do. Fun workplace. There's a Verizon Wireless. We're Verizon Wireless. Oh, they have a well wellness center. We had, we had a, um, a gym that you had to go to like eight and off hours because it was usually packed with idiots. You know, the guys with the pecs and delts that don't need to really work out, but they take over all the machines for 45 minutes. I'm mucking my pecs and my delts, buddy. For no reason whatsoever. A lot of stuff to do here. We've got a gym on site. If you want to go to our cafeteria, there's a menu sent out every week. We've got a lot of special days throughout our... our this is the thing I've said in other videos. All these big call centers have a cafeteria, but they're only open from like 6.30 to 4. And they bring you in on your shift, if you're new, on second shift, and the cafeteria closes at 4. So by the time you get ready for lunch, there's no cafeteria. It's total bullshit. If this is a 24-7 you know, call center, they should have at least part of the cafeteria opened all night long, but they don't. You don't get to use it. A month, anything from hey. we had a call center that we had i'm sorry we had a cafeteria there too and I, I never went to it it was just impossible to get into here's a casual day that you got because you did this yeah you get a casual day now this is something one of the person the people who commented they they make you dress up or they did at verizon when i was there all those years ago you couldn't come in in a sweatshirt and jeans you, you had to wear a polo shirt and khakis and it makes no sense whatsoever. They make you, you, I should make a whole video about the dress code in these, you know, ridiculous call centers because you, there's no reason to get dressed up in a call center, especially when everyone's hops up and smack and heroin and smack and coke and pot and everything else. Maybe a brand new top of the line phone that could happen. For he's so, he's so knowledgeable. I am a knowledgeable Verizon Wireless representative. I should be a college professor, but I grew my hair long and decided to work in a call center. Thank you. Somebody. They treat me like any other employee. See, I think he's blind because he keeps he keeps talking about how they help him and they, they treat him like any other employee. Can't be because he's bilingual. So he's got to be blind. Why, why would you hire a blind person in a call center? It makes no sense. Uh, I don't know how they navigate the systems. But, you know. Okay. More power to you, dude, if you can... You can work and you're blind. I, I'm not certain how that works. You know, and, and not like that. I, accommodations are made, but I'm treated like everybody else. And that's a good feeling. I had someone say to me the other day, it's nice to talk to somebody who likes what they do. I love my job and I love it. She loves her job. Oh, so nice. Oh, she loves her job. She's so, oh, look, her. she's so well dressed and her hair's done. And, oh, she's an upperly mobile woman, strong woman. Verizon Wireless. Verizon Wireless is such a great company. <gasps> it's so great. Oh, nice. Oh, it's such a nice company. Yay. Core values, integrity. Customers come first. Oh.
I know that we're going to be here for a long time. It's a great pleasure. And the call center's closed. So you're not there anymore. You're probably out there begging for change in the corners of Albuquerque. So that's Verizon Wireless. I, I, I just, to this day, I'm filled with rage about the way I was treated there. It was just a, a torture, torturous environment. And I just don't know. I, I so so uh, so that's Verizon Wireless. I'm not going to ramble on about my my feelings about Verizon, but there's an awful company to work for, and they treated me like shit, and I will never forget it. So I hope you like that one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, give me some ideas of what you'd like to see on here. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. I'll be the same, baby. And remember. Each and every one of us are naked beneath our clothes. Would you like fries with that? Would you like fries with that?